hey guys in this tutorial i'll show you how we can animate the shape divider with in elementor as you can see our bottom shape divider is slowly animating so i will show you how we can create that so first of all if you use the shape divider multiple times in your website you can animate all of them at once or you can just target any specific shape divider and animate it so in our case as you can see we have two shape divider in here one is here one is here so in our case we will use or animate both of them or let's just animate this one so i'll show you how you can animate this one so first of all to animate any specific shape divider we need to add a class to that specific section so select the class go to advance and add a class like uh, my shape okay this is our class for this particular section so if we inspect our shape divider as you can see our shape divider is this svg file but on top of it we have a wrapper div called animator dash shape and elementor dash shape dash bottom so if you add any shape divider at the bottom of your section it will called elementor dash shape dot bottom or if you add it on top it will say elementor dash shape dash top or something like that so we need to target that class so first of all let's go to our css so the class of our section was my underscore shape so let's add my underscore shape and then let's target that class so the, uh, the class was shape elementor shape dash bottom so let's target that shape bottom by the way in the next tutorial i will show you some awesome thing let me give it a demo so in the next tutorial I'll show you how you can create this as you can see it's awesome looking off canvas animation so I will show you how you can create this in the next tutorial awesome so let's go to our shape divider section so this was our class and first of all we need to give we need to give that shape a size boost or we need to increase the width of our sh shape so that we can animate the width okay so let's first set the width so width you can give it any size in my case i am giving it one 210 percent so we will increase the width to 210 percent great uh, then we need to animate at some any css animation to that shape bottom so let's make it animation first of all we need to give it a name of this animation so in our in my case i am giving it a name called shape you can give it any name then we need to set the time so in this our case we need to set a set the time value is larger so that the animation is slower so in my case i am giving it 22 second maybe then we need to add the animation or easing type in my case or in our case we'll use something called cubic bezier so if you go to the cubic dash bezier.com you will see this animation type so it will give it a dramatic look so if you preview click this go button as you can see first the animation is happening fast then it slows down then it happening slow so we have other type of example in here as well you can preview it in here so let's check which one is better for us okay let's say this one is better for us so open it on a new window and copy this bezier cubic bezier code value and insert it in here great so set our animation name then our duration and then the cubic bezier animation type and its value and then we need to set this animation infinite loop so you want to loop it infinitely great so now this section is done so we have increased the width and we have added an animation let's make the keyframe animation so add keyframe then add keyframes then we need to name specify or give the name exact name that we have used in animation 
and within this keyframe animation we need we will set three value one for zero percent one for fifty percent and one for hundred percent for this zero percent let's make this margin we will animate the margin margin animate the margin left so margin left value will be zero okay for zero the margin left will be zero just duplicate this and for 50 percent our margin left will be a much much bigger value i found out that 1600 pixel is a very good spot so let's set this margin left to negative 1600 pixel and for 100 percent the margin left will be again zero this is all the css we need so first of all shape with animation and then the animation type and one thing you can do is we can give it a our body class and overflow x value to hidden so that it doesn't overlap our body or target this body and overflow overflow x will be hidden perfect so let's save this and let's check if our shape divider is working now let's refresh as you can see our shape divider is now working this shape divider is not working only this one is working so you can play with this cubic bezier animation you can create your own animation from this grab in here as well so only sky is the limit so this is how we can create and shape divider animation elementor